This demo is going to show you the difference between the pH of your normal drinking water. A lot of people think all the drinking water is the same. All the bottled water like this. Well, this is actually called distilled water. As you can see, most of the places they are selling distilled water. And our water is the same. They are pure water, totally pure. Right? Whereas the other type of drinking water is mineral water natural mineral water all right so would you like to find out what is the difference between the ph of these two water so all this can be shown through a little ph tester which is called universal tester this is the same thing you get in the school lab which we use to test the ph of whatever liquid or whatever substance so how we find out what's the pH is through the chart. The chart as in this. Can you see? Okay. This is the chart. Can you see at the center there? It's green, which means neutral. The pH is of 7. So the yellow is acidic, and it get higher acidic, it changes to orange and red color. For us, for the alkaline, Light blue means more alkaline. As the alkalinity go higher, you can see the color change to high purple. So, what kind of water we should drink? We should drink from neutral and above. But for people suffering from gout, I highly recommend you drinking at this high pH. Because, as you know, gout is because of uric acid. Acid is where? It's this side. So imagine if you keep on drinking acidic water, do you think it will help you remove the acid from your body? No, it's not helping. So you need to drink alkaline water to neutralize the acid which is a lot in your body to become neutral. Actually, our blood is slightly alkaline, 7.364. We have to maintain our body at alkaline in order to avoid modern disease and gout is just one of it the serious one is cancer so how are you going to get alkaline water i'm going to show you later on but for now i want you to see the ph of your drinking water okay now we start by distilled water they are the cleanest water on earth distilled water and our water are the cleanest because it has no mineral inside. It's totally pure, only has 2 O. So let's see what's the pH. So this is distilled water. Right. And natural water, which they get from deep thousand feet down under earth. They say it's so called natural water. But the tea water in your home actually is also considered natural water because it contains minerals, both acidic and alkaline minerals. So let's see what's the pH. Right. So now I put a bottle of pH distilled, the pH tester, which is number one. Let's see, put a one drop and one drop to here. So can you see the difference? Yeah, can't you see the difference? This is distilled water. So to make it obvious, I put one more drop. What is the pH? Now you tell me. What's the color? What's the color? So, as you see, this is slightly yellow, which means, to remind you, what's the pH? Yellow, which is acidic. You're right. Because carbon dioxide absorbs into the water, so it becomes carbonic acid. Because usually pure water in practical, they are acidic. And this is natural water, which is neutral. But does any of it is alkaline? 
I told you, you need to drink alkaline water. But the very sad thing is, a lot of people are drinking, thinking that isotonic drinks like this, isotonic drinks like this, guess what's the pH of isotonic drinks? As you see in advertisement after your sports, you need to drink isotonic drinks. Surprise, let's see what's the pH. Isotonic drink. What's the pH? Very acidic. It's slightly orange. So from the mineral content of your isotonic drink, isotonic drink, so it's supposed to be neutral, but why it is so acidic? The reason is it contains carbon dioxide, which is the gas. Imagine if isotonic drink like this, without the fizzy feeling, can it be so on the market? No. So something tastes good, usually not so good for your health. Right. Now see, what's the effect of having acidic, too much acidic in the body? So we take an example. Let's say this is acidic, right? It represents the acidic food you eat every day. Same as protein, high meat, high carbohydrates, smoking, drinking. So Coca-Cola, all are acidic, including the air you breathe is acidic. What happens if you take acidic food? I put a liter and a little here. Can you see it turns acidic? And this is what happened to your body. It becomes acidic 